Dedication, consistency and constant practice, yeah. Get a good sleep, yeah, it's gonna induce sleep right away. I'm gonna be like, okay, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, uh, talent... Talent versus consistency. Consistency beats every time. Like, there, there, there are people who... Like, there, there's so many people in the world with talent, but they're not consistent and they don't have the balls to do, like, an entrepreneur st something. They, 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 there's so many people in this world with talent for something, but not they don't have consistency or the balls to go through with it. And then there's so many people in the world that have gotten to where they've gotten with consistency and gone from zero to where they are just because they got the balls and they are they they, they show up every single day. So consistency beats talent and dedication beats talent any day. But if you got talent and you're consistent, then you're a fucking rolling stone guy, you know? Self-judgment stops so many people from creating, yeah. Comparing yourself to others, yeah, 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 yeah. Especially in this day and age of Instagram, you know, you don't, you don't actually know what you're comparing yourself to. Because you just see what people want to show you. And it seems like everyone's uh, life is perfect on Instagram and in, the, in TV and whatever. And all these standards. And then you don't even try. Or like, I'm 50 years old, it's, I'm too old to start drawing. Like, what? Come on. Today is the day you need to start. Today. Now. Now. Go and draw. Go. Hein, get, get a piece of paper, let's draw something. Everything starts somewhere, you know? The best bodybuilders have started with five push-ups and then they went oh I can't do more than five push-ups and now they're bodybuilders or you know Hussein Bolt has started with one little sprint and he sucked and then he slowly built himself up and I if when I go back to my first live on Inside Timer I cringe I'm like Hur! Hur! and now I'm I'm pretty good at it like I, I'm I'm like, I'm not gonna say I'm, I'm amazing at lives, I'm just gonna say, like, compared to my first live, I'm... It's, it's like heaven and earth. So... And in the end, like, comparing yourself, and don't get down on the imposter syndrome, you know, like, but... Like, when I was like, but there are so many graphic designers in the world. Like, there's so many psychotherapists in the world. There's so many people on, on Inside Timer doing meditations for people. There's so many people doing lives. Why, why would I do it? And then I'm like, because I want to do it in my life. Like, fuck all y'all. <laughs> like, I don't, give, I don't give a flying fuck how many graphic designers are in the world or how many people are helping others with psychotherapy. Why wouldn't I do it? Why wouldn't I do it? Because it's my life. I don't give a, I don't give a damn what you're doing. I'm doing this. Coco says the point hits me close to home. I tried to throw away present me because I don't do that. Now me tells me you don't deserve it. No, you deserve any you deserve everything. You deserve everything. You just have to choose now. I'm gonna do that now. It doesn't matter if it's present me or past me or future me. What matters is the action. What matters is the choice. The choice. I'm gonna choose to do this now. And then tomorrow I'm gonna choose to do this now. One day at a time. One drawing at a time. One line at a time. Hein says, I tried the other day and felt intimidated. You and Katya gave me hope. You know how you can get better? Take a piece of paper, draw circles. Just draw circles. Draw circles for a week. Just you, you take a, t just try to tr try to draw perfect circles and try to do that for a week. Remember how you um 
uh, how you um, learn how to write. You got, you w went to the elementary school and you got letter A, and they said, fill up a whole page of A's, and you do A, 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 and then B's, and then small B's, and then C's, and small C's. If you learn the cursive, I don't know. We learned the cursive, how to write. Maybe you just learn the capitals, I don't know. Um, just draw circles for a whole day, just draw circles. Then tomorrow, just try to draw straight lines, as far as you can. Then try wave, wavy lines. And go like, take a piece of paper and go, wavy line. And next to it, another wavy line. And try to go as close as possible to the first wavy line. Then do... I don't know. Well, b basically that's it, like straight lines and wavy lines. But you can then do bigger circles and then try to do small circles and then to get... You need to start somewhere. So Coco, th the thing that you also don't want to do, maybe you need to do it but a smaller version. You need to start where you can do things. So if... Oh, I'm, I'm too weak to do exercise. Do one push-up. Just do one. And then tomorrow do one. And then tomorrow do one. And then tomorrow do just one. And one squat. Like, of course you can do one squat. And you can do one push-up. If you can't do one push-up, do a lady push-up. You know, on your knees. Do just one lady push-up. If you can't do that, get to the wall. Get to a wall. And do push-up against the wall. Do as much as you can. And then tomorrow, do as much as you can. So, whatever you want to do in life, the new thing that is hard for you to do, break it up in such a small bite that you actually can do the small bite. And then do the small bite over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again. Until you can do a little bigger bite. So, everything that is that people have done, it's just a matter of breaking it down to the small possible chunks that you can actually do, and digest, and then do the fuck out of them. Katya says, thanks, Hein, don't expect it to be amazing, it's like learning a language. Yep, takes, takes time and practice, exactly, exactly. <laughs> 